Today on Inside the Ride, we put you in the driver's seat aboard Koto Josie back on January 3rd when this happened. Koto Josie, who is dead last in the back of the track, and she swallowed them up. It's Koto Josie for Chris Landeros. Koto Josie. What would you do differently? How would you react? Let's go Inside the Ride to find out. We're going to start with this race because it's one of my favorite races from last year, a very thrilling one. Now, going into this race, did you and trainer Eddie Johnston have a game plan of what you were trying to accomplish here from the gate? Uh, not necessarily uh, a play by play, but we had an idea of where we thought we'd be at in the race, and uh, this was definitely, uh, we had a call an audible. I was going to say, you, that, that game plan was probably not what we're about to see right here at the start of the race. And the wrong. Now right out of the gate here, you're aboard the number four, and it looks like she breaks okay, but then gets pinched back a little bit. What happened there? Just broke a little slow, and uh, you know, her inside and outside horse out outfitted her away from there, and they, they got her shuffled back pretty far, getting ping-ponged out of that little tight spot. And I lost a lot of ground, but uh, I just let her get herself together and uh, get, get her feet under her. And, so you're just uh, kind of letting her do her own thing at this point? Yeah, I just wanted to make sure she was okay, because she got hit pretty hard and actually knocked the air out of her, and I just let her kind of gather herself uh, up. And She's a knockout running fly to break up three more to Debbie Ann, and Koto Josie has dropped back to 11. I just was actually really impressed about right here. I gave her a little smooch, and she gave me a little run. Right here, I, I had a ton of horse, and when I swung her out, she just exploded. Now here, I mean, you're still just basically hand riding her to about the eighth pole, and then you, you give her a couple cracks with your right hand there. I mean, she was really picking that up kind of all by herself. Yeah, all on her own, really. I mean, every step of the way, she just gathered up more and more ground, and, you know, she was uh, she was very impressive. Koto Josie, who is dead last in the back of the track, and she swallowed them up. It's Koto Josie for Chris Landeros. Koto Josie. Now, one other question here about this is, you know, a horse gets so far back, as you can see, she's just, I mean, she's off the screen on the pan shot. If you look at the head on, she's completely detached. Is there sort of an understanding between jockey and trainer and owner in a situation like this, what you should or shouldn't do, what's in the best interest of the horse, you know, how hard you're really gonna push on her if she's, you know, not going to pick up a check until she started to show you that she really could. Yeah, that's why I took the stick out a little bit later than normal, just because more than anything, I didn't want to abuse her. It's Koto Josie for Chris Landeros. Koto Josie. Wow, was she sharp tonight. So you were almost just going to kind of let her run her own race and just let her pick up a little bit, but it was really when she sort of dragged you into it that you started to get after her a little bit because she showed you that you two could win the race. Yes, I just wanted to make sure she was okay. You know, um, if we weren't going to be okay for today, there's always another day. I didn't want to hurt her. Given that big winning finish, it's probably tough to play it any better than Chris there, but what would you have done? Anything you would have done differently? Let us know in the comments below the video. Thanks for joining us.